In this video, we'll show how to control virtual instrument and plugin parameters using a USB or MIDI controller. Just about any parameter can be controlled, so the creative applications really are endless. Here I'm using an Akai MPK49 USB controller, but any MIDI or USB controller that transmits MIDI controller data will work. We're going to start out by signing some controller functions from Mixcraft's Messiah Virtual Synth. I've already got it set up in Mixcraft, and I'm going to right-click on the little keyboard over here to open its control panel. And to map MIDI parameters, we want to click on this little gear right here. This opens up the MIDI mapping window where we can assign parameters. There's a couple ways you can assign parameters, but the easiest way is to check on the clicking on VST control selects parameter box over here. And what that means is when I move one of the knobs over here, it's going to acknowledge it in the MIDI mapping window over here. I'm going to press the MIDI learn button over here. And I'm going to move the parameter I want to set, and you can see it pops up over here in the list. And now I'm going to move the slider that I want to control that parameter. And you can see controller number 20 just popped up over here. And you can stay in the learning mode and you can assign a bunch of parameters this way. I'm going to move the resonance knob. You can see it pops up over there. And now I'm going to move the slider I wanted to assign to. And you can add as many parameters as you like this way. Once you're done assigning parameters, press the stop learning button. And press the X to close the window. And you can see now my cutoff and resonance are assigned. Buttons can be assigned in the same way. Let's say, for example, that I want to control the wheel mod destinations with buttons on my controller. This works exactly the same way as assigning knobs and sliders, except the only thing you need to be aware of is that because these are buttons that turn on and stay on, your controller buttons need to be set in latch mode. And what that means is, when I press a button on the controller, you can see that it lights up and stays lit. If it's in momentary mode, it'll turn off as soon as I let my finger off. So that may be something you need to set in your MIDI controller. But since we know these are correctly set to latch mode, Let's go in and assign them. I'll enable MIDI Learn. I'll click on the button. And hit the switch. And hit the next one. And hit switch. And so forth until they're all assigned. Then I'll hit Stop Learning. And now I can turn all these on and off. One really popular way to use a MIDI slider controller is to use the sliders to control the drawbars of a virtual tone wheel organ. Now a typical virtual tone wheel organ has nine draw bars on it, and as you can see, my Akai controller here has eight. Although a lot of controllers these days do have nine sliders on them because they know you might want to use them for this. But I'll assign the first eight sliders here, the first eight draw bars, and maybe I'll use one of the knobs for the very last one up here. So again, I'll start by clicking on the gear over here. And again, I'll make sure the clicking on VST control selects parameters checkbox is checked. And I'll click MIDI learn and move through my draw bars and assign them. I'm going to move the first one, then move the appropriate slider, and the second one, and move its slider, and so forth until they're all assigned. And since I only have eight sliders, for this last one right here, I'm just going to assign it to a knob. So now they're all assigned, and I can press Stop Learning. With some kinds of controls, including draw bars, sometimes the control doesn't move the right direction. So in this case, it's working right, but for some draw bars, I've run into situations where it's backwards. And Mixcraft accounts for this by having a little reverse checkbox over here. So if I click these, you can see the controls will move in reverse from how I'm moving them. Here it isn't necessary, but if you run into this situation, just click the reverse checkboxes for all the controls. So now that we're done, I'll click on the X up here. And now we have slider control draw bars. In the last couple of examples, we've shown how to use a MIDI hardware controller to control virtual instruments, but you can also use a hardware controller with VST plugins. In this next example, I'm going to assign some controls to a Mixcraft Classic Delay plugin. I'm going to open up the control panel by right-clicking on the Effects button right here. And again, I'll click on the gear over here. And I've still got that clicking on VST controls checkbox on. I'll hit the MIDI Learn button. And the first parameter I want to set is the Direct Effect Mix. So I'm going to move this around a little bit. And the parameter shows up right here. And then I'm going to move the slider on our MIDI controller. And you can see that it assigns right here. Next, I'm going to assign the feedback amount. So I'll move this guy a little bit. There it is. And we'll use this slider for that. Again, when you're done setting parameters, hit the Stop Wording button. Close the window. And I've already programmed a little sequence in here so you can hear what you can do with this. Right now, my delay mix is set at nothing. And I'm going to start bringing it in. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. 
And here's my feedback control right here. As you can see, we can get really creative. 